Welcome to our second video on our new project, Ranger's Quest. Today I will be sharing what was initially developed as our AI, artificial intelligence, then what was wrong with it, and then finally how we implemented Unity's navigation controller and obstacle avoidance system to smarten our goblin enemies. This video was filmed on location in Goblin Forest and no goblins were hurt during the filming of this video. The initial goblin had just a few properties that controlled its behavior. The first property was the detection range to the player. That was how far away the player could be until the goblin spotted the player. The second property was lost sight, which was how far away the player would have to get before the goblin would lose the player. And the last property was the approach distance to the player. This was when the goblin was approaching the player, how far away he would get before he stopped chasing and performed his attack. The detection range looked in 360 degrees regardless of if the player was inside or not. Upon entering that distance, the goblin would turn and run straight to the player. As the player moved, the goblin would change his direction, but you can see how he would not dodge obstacles that may obstruct his path. I could sit here all day and the goblin would never be within distance to hit, nor did he consider the falling pass. First, he could easily fit within the gap between the fence posts. He could go around the rightmost part of the fence, or he could go around the leftmost part of the fence. Currently, we don't have any plans for them to jump over obstacles, but that could change as we continue development. So how do we implement a smarter AI? Using Unity's NavMesh agent that comes natively and freely with Unity. Check out the description below for a link to the documentation. I had to slightly modify the pursuit script to bake the levels and specifying meshes as static or immovable and not animated. The blue area is where the nav meshes can navigate. Uncolored parts are parts they will avoid. While this was the easy part, this was also the most time consuming part of the process. I had to modify a little bit of the parameters for the nav mesh, but that's also part of the fun. Experimenting with turn speed and chase speed parameters will make the game more difficult with faster, smarter enemies. But overall, I'm very happy with the result. Be sure to hit subscribe, find us on Facebook or Twitter, or follow us on NDDB and our progress on Rangers Quest.